Hey guys, King Kate here, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple sword in Blender. Let's get right into this. So first of all, right whenever you go ahead and open up Blender, go ahead and select everything, and go ahead and delete it. So, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to go ahead and make a sword that looks exactly like this. So, so just go ahead and look on Google, find a simple sword that you want to go ahead and make. It can be complicated if you want it to be. I recommend just making it simple if it's your first sword. So, so we're going to go ahead and be making this sword right here. So what you want to go ahead and do, click Shift A and go ahead and add a plane like this. Now go ahead and click Tab to go ahead and go in edit mode. And you'll probably be on this vertices select right here. So we'll just go ahead and select that. And now go ahead and click M and merge them at the center. If that doesn't work for you, go ahead and right click, scroll down where it says merge, and then click merge vertices. But yeah, so now once you have this, go ahead and move it down. Go ahead and click G to move it, and go ahead and move it to the bottom of your sword. Also, if you don't see this little point, make sure you're on vertices select. You can change it right up here at the top left. So yeah, now what you want to go ahead and do, go ahead and click E to extrude it, and just go ahead and move your cursor, and go ahead and move it along the edge of the sword. Don't move it along the blade of the sword, like the very edge, but the center part where it's flat, that is where you want to go ahead and move it. So, so just go ahead and click E and keep following the edge of your sword. It doesn't have to be exactly on the edge of your sword, because if you're like making kind of a broken sword, then it might look kind of weird. So, so we're just going to go ahead and extrude this so it's nice and smooth. So, yeah, so just like this, just follow the edge. And now for this sword, it kind of cuts off. The flat base right here kind of cuts off. So what we're going to go ahead and do, we're just going to go ahead and make the flat edge ourselves. So we're just going to go ahead and extrude this like here. And now we're just going to go ahead and move this to the left a little, about right there. And now we're just going to go ahead and move it to the right. Most swords have like a flat base along the entire sword. So this sword is a little bit different. Now once we're at the top, what we're going to go ahead and do... We're just going to go ahead and click E, and now we're just going to follow the edge back down. Now what we want to go ahead and do, go ahead and connect the vertices. So this one and this one, go ahead and cl click this one, hold down shift, click this one, and go ahead and click F. And now you just want to go ahead and do that for pretty much all the vertices. There, If there isn't an even amount of vertices on every side, not every vertice needs to be attached to another one, but does kind of make it easier sometimes. Now go up here and click edge select this one right here and go ahead and select the edges. Go ahead and select all the edges. Go ahead and click F and all of them again. If there are only four edges on one of these squares, then you do only have to select two of them like this and go ahead and click F. But I recommend selecting all the sides just in case. So like this one right here it does look like there's only four edges, but there is actually three edges on this one edge. Which if we go ahead and don't select them and just click F, then it can mess up the sword. So we just do this for the entire sword. Go ahead and select all the edges. Click F to go ahead and fill them in. Just like this. And now, yeah, we pretty much do this until the top of the sword. And then we'll go ahead and add a loop cut. And then we'll go ahead and make the blade. So now once we have all of those done, go ahead and select face select like this. Go ahead and move it to the side. Click A to select all. And click E to go ahead and extrude just like this click ctrl r to go ahead and add a loop cut down the sword there we go and now go ahead and click s and go ahead and scale it up it may look a little bit weird in a couple spots but that is all right we can easily go ahead and fix that now go back into vertices select and go and align the edges with the edge of the sword it is fine if it kind of breaks the sword a little bit here we'll go ahead and fix it once we go ahead and do it all the way around so for the tip of this sword, the tip of the blade, we're going to make sure we have the right tip. So this is the tip of the flat part, and this is the tip right here. So we'll go ahead and put that right there. We'll go ahead and grab the edges, click G to go ahead and move them. And we're pretty much just going to go ahead and outline the blade of the sword now. Sometimes you might have to go ahead and move your screen around to go ahead and find some, because some vertices are hiding under other ones. So you will need to go ahead and make sure. See, like right here, if we go ahead and grab this one, we kind of have a little cut right there because th there is one vertice right here. So we got to go ahead and grab that and go ahead and move it down. So there we go. The blade is now done. Let's go ahead and move this one over a little bit. So yeah, so there we go. There is the blade. Now go ahead and click it. 
right click and click shade auto smooth shade auto smooth is in the news version of blender so if you don't have that go ahead and click shade smooth go ahead and click on this little triangle down here click on this normals one and go ahead and click auto smooth and if it still looks a little bit weird like how it does right up here what you can go ahead and do you can move auto smooth down a little bit and it should go ahead and flatten it out there we go so if you go ahead and move auto smooth up it goes ahead and makes it look kind of strange depending on what you're doing. But for this, we're going to go ahead and move it down just so we can go ahead and see the edges of the blade. And there we go. That looks pretty good. Just when it's smoothened enough so we can't see the edges right here. See if it's flat, we can see all the edges. But if it's smooth, then it's like that. Make sure it's auto smooth. There we go. Now, once we have our blade, we're going to go ahead and start on the handle right down here. So the handle, it is pretty easy. You can go ahead and make whatever handle you want. But for this, we'll actually just go ahead and outline this handle. For the So for this handle, you pretty much do the same thing you do for the sword. And just go ahead and outline it. So there we go. We went ahead and outlined it. Now just go ahead and click L on one of the vertices. Click F to go ahead and fill it in. Go ahead and go into face select. Move to the side. And go ahead and extrude it. About right there is good. Now go ahead and click L. Click SX to scale on the X axis just so it's thicker than the actual blade. And actually, we gotta go ahead and fix this one spot in our blade. So, what we'll go ahead and do, move that to the side for now because it does look like there's a little spot in our blade that needs some fixing up. So, we'll go into edit mode and move this upward just like this. Move this out, and there we go. Now it's fixed. So, now we'll go ahead and select this thing right here again and move it closer, and there we go. We can add more detail to this if we want to, but we'll go ahead and smooth it out for now. Yeah, we don't really need to add more detail to it, but if you want, you can go ahead and select one of the faces, eye to inset, extrude it inward, and so on. Actually, we will do that. Go ahead and select both sides, this one and the front one. Eye to extrude it. Make sure none of the faces are, make sure none of the vertices are intersecting, or else it will go ahead and look weird like that. So, so we'll just go ahead and move it down a little bit, probably like that. That looks about good. Alt-E, go ahead and extrude them inward, just like this. And there we go. A little bit more detail to our sword. So now, go ahead and click Shift-A. Go ahead and add a cylinder. Let's go ahead and scale down the cylinder. And scale it on the Z-axis as well. And now, we're just going to go ahead and use the cylinder for this little part right here. You can go ahead and make a simpler handle if you want to. Like, if you really want to, let's go ahead and line this up first. Make sure that it's inside the handle. There we go. If you really want to, you can go ahead and select the bottom face. Go ahead and move it down. And then you can go ahead and have a handle like this. But for this, I want to go ahead and add a little bit more detail. So, so select the entire cylinder. Shift D to duplicate it. Scale it down only in a little bit. Go ahead and rotate it randomly, maybe right there. Shift D again, scale it down a little bit, rotate it randomly, and about right there. Now we're just going to go ahead and add the small thing at the bottom, so select the bottom face. Shift D, scale it up, and now for this, go ahead and scale it up, extrude it, scale it up more, extrude, then extrude again, and scale it down. And there we go. There is an easier way to do that, but this way is does look pretty good. So yeah, so select both faces. Go ahead and scale it down just like this. And select this. And now we'll probably scale this up a little bit. Maybe about right there. Yeah, about right there looks good. Go ahead and select it. Shade auto smooth. And there we go. Now our sword is nice and done. Now we just gotta go ahead and texture it. So to texture it, what you want to go ahead and do, select the sword right here. We can go ahead and hide that background image. Go ahead and select the sword. Go into the shading tab at the top. Click new. And now just go ahead and drag in the picture of your color palette. So there we go. I got my color palette. Go ahead and collect the color. Go ahead and connect the color right here to the base color. Go into UV editing. Go ahead and hold down Z and select material preview. Go ahead and click A to select all. U, project from view. And now you can go ahead and select L. Go ahead and click L to select that object. Go ahead and select all of these. And now we can go ahead and color it. And there is our sword right there. So yes, that is going to go ahead and be all for this video. That is how you go ahead and make a simple sword in a blender. 
And yeah, that's going to go ahead and be all for this video, though. So go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I will see you all in the next video.